Hi guys, Rachel here. We are going to be talking about Rider weight. So if you love Rider weight, you love tarot, you're looking for some deck lust, or if you are a fan of rainbows or you like the holographic tarot cards, I have a little treat for you guys. So <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you guys my holographic tarot collection. Um, there's only five, there's only five, so it's not going to be a lot. Um, and the most exciting part is they are all affordable. Okay. <laughs> um, and I will do my best to link every single one of them in the description box. So if you see one that you really like and you want to purchase it, um, I will do my best to put those direct links in there for you guys. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to do this in the order that I have received them. It's gonna, just going to be easier. Um, so let's start from the very, very, very first holographic tarot deck that I have ever owned. And that would be this beauty right here. Um, it doesn't really have a name. I, I've just always call it, called it the holographic tarot. I think eventually it just kind of took that name. Um, but this was one of those little funky decks that you would find on eBay. So um, back in the day, I would do eBay searches like crazy. I was always on it. I have since kind of stopped doing that, um, but I used to. So <laughs> this one would pop up all the time. It was on Amazon, eBay, um, Etsy had some of them. And it's kind of just one of those like random... You don't know if it's going to be a scam kind of a purchase. Like it was literally one of those. Um, this deck came from China. And at the time when it first came out, they were very, very, very cheap, which was why I was like, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to see what this thing is. Is, is it a scam? It only cost $7. So the, I'm telling you, when they first came out, these were like super cheap. And it was free shipping. It was coming all the way from China. I was like, this is sketch, but okay, let's just see how it goes. So, so this is it. Um, and it is actually really pretty, you know, it's really, really pretty. It comes with a guidebook. I, I've never used it. I don't even think, yeah, it's completely <laughs> not in English. Um, so has a little funky guidebook. The cards, I've always liked the card backs on these guys. Um, I like the star and I just I just always thought that it was pretty cool. But the thing that like was a downer about the deck is the fact that it's super tiny. So it's a very narrow card stock because you could tell the cards are very thin. Um, it's tiny. And then you have the name of the card you know, in English, and then it has it in Chinese at the bottom. Um, so it's just a funky, it's like literally one of those funky decks, but it is actually really pretty. Um, so the holographic uh, overlay on these cards is really, really pretty. You get that beautiful rainbow, as you could see. Um, it really stands out in the sunlight and natural lighting and whatnot. Um, but yeah, the other downfall about this was the cardstock is kind of thick. So shuffling it on top of like the fact that it's like a thick, chunky, you know, weird shaped deck. <laughs> the cardstock is a little thick too. So it made shuffling a little bit difficult. Um, and it's more of a cardboard kind of a cardstock. So, you know, it would sh really show the flaws and you can, you know, the cards would bend. So I didn't use this one too much or when I shuffled it, I would do the overhand shuffle because it was easier for me to hold it this way in my hands um, and shuffle like that. So the other downfall on this deck is the images are a little bit um, like dark, you know what I mean? Like they're not bright and vibrant. Um, I don't know if that's because of the overlay or it was just a bad copy of the card I don't know but that was the other downfall so this was literally the first holographic tarot I had um <laughs> then I was always like oh maybe I'll do a deck mod or something maybe I'll deck mod it and like cut off the the um 
the bottom part of the card just so I just have the, the English title on there. And then they had an English one come out. So <laughs> I don't know if that was like intentional or what, um, but the box is different. So you have the High Priestess on the first ones that came out. And then the newer one has the Chariot. Um, and this one actually has the, the name A.E. Weight Tarot. So yeah, the box is still really, really pretty. It's like all holographic and... I don't know. I just thought it was really neat, but everything is in English. <laughs> so you can, you know, you're able to read, um, the, uh, the stuff that you can read on the original copy. Um, and this one was still very affordable. I think this one was 16, $15, 20 bucks. No more. It was no more than 20. Um, the book changed. <laughs> So the book then turned into um, a white, little white fold out pamphlet thingy, whatever you want to call it. Never really pay attention to these guys. Um, the card backs are still the same. So I was pleasantly happy with that. <laughs> um, but it's still a funky shape. It's still a rectangular shape deck. Um, the only difference is you have instead of Chinese lettering at the bottom we have English um which is kind of still weird because <laughs> because you have it right here so it's just a funky deck like that's all I could say it's just a weird funky little deck it's kind of one of those decks that you could just like pop in your purse and go it's one of those like honestly I would take this with me to the beach or like if I was going to be out and about and I wanted to just have a cheap little deck to throw into my bag that I wouldn't be sad if I lost it or if it got damaged this would probably be one of those <laughs> a little travel deck um but the cardstock is still pretty much the same. Um, the image is actually a little bit more vibrant though. So let me pull out the other one just to kind of do a little side by side for you guys. So let me pull out the fools. So this is the first one. This is the second one. So you could see the cardstock is still the same. It's still very thick, cardboardy, um, matte on the backs. Um, you do have the glossy overlay on the front this is the original or the first one <laughs> and this is the the more uh, updated one so you could kind of see um the image is a little bit darker so it's not as faded this one looks like it's more faded this one is a little bit more darker um so that was kind of like a little plus on that i do love the holographic overlay on this it's just you get that beautiful rainbow um it's very obvious <laughs> so i really i really appreciate that because there are some holographic tarot decks that don't have that great rainbow and i'm going to show you so okay so there's that one um then i was again doing a ebay search and I stumbled on this one. This one's called the Classic Weight Tarot. And this one just had, it was again, one of those, one of those, one of those um, ads where I was like, ooh, is this going to be another scam? It was very cheap though. So I think this one also was under $20. I want to say I paid 12. I think it was like $12. It was very cheap. So it was one of those purchases where if this one was going to be fake, then I wouldn't be upset. <laughs> because it was only 12 bucks and it was like free shipping. Um, but I took the chance because you guys know I love Rider weight, any kind of clone. So the box is beautiful. Again, the box has that holographic look to it. You got all those beautiful rainbows and it's a bright orange. <laughs> it's a bright orange box. Um, the only thing, and I didn't notice this when I ordered the, the deck because I'm not good with reading the descriptions. I just buy shit. I should be get, getting better with that. The cards are tiny. So <laughs> some of you guys will probably be happy to see this because I know some of you guys love the pocket-sized, teeny tiny, mini little decks, right? And I don't mind it too much, but if I were to choose between a mini deck or a full size, like standard size tarot deck, 
I would go for the standard. It just feels easier for me when I'm shuffling and especially this little sucker. Um, these cards are slippery. Like it's the card stock. Um, they, the backs are matte. They're like kind of like playing card material, but the overlay with the, with the holographic and it's just, it's very glossy. It's slippery. So when I'm shuffling, it goes everywhere. <laughs> and then I think also because it's just such a smaller deck, they slip through your fingers or really, really easily and it, they just go everywhere. So this is one where I tend to, again, I shuffle overhand because I have more control. Oh my goodness. You, you're probably going to hear my cats. They're letting me know it's almost time to eat. Uh, <laughs> so this one though has beautiful holograph. Um, as you can see, it's just very, very shiny. You get like, not just like one rainbow, like with, the, with this one, it's kind of just like one rainbow. This one is like all over the place. It just looks like a rainbow, of just a prism, right? <laughs> Gorgeous. The card backs on these are plaid. So they're kind of ugly, to be honest. I really feel like they could have done something a little bit more celestial or, you know, just to kind of go with that pretty rainbow theme. And they chose blue plaid. So it was kind of an ugly, like I'm not really a fan of the plaid, but it is what it is. I think what they were trying to do was to go with like that typical or, you know, original Rider weight the old plaid blue black backs. I don't know, but they're ugly. <laughs> but the cards are really nice. They have a small uh, border and you still get Pamela's handwriting, her calligraphy, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they're just really pretty. Like they're so rainbowy as you can tell, like they're gorgeous. So it's your typical right away. Like it's those bright yellows and blues. But I think because of the holograph, like it doesn't really matter too much. You know what I mean? Um, so really pretty. So that is this deck. That is the classic weight tarot. And then you go over to Amazon. <laughs> and Amazon actually has a holographic tarot deck, you guys. So, um... I've done some reviews for Magic Seer um, tar tarot decks before. They actually have one that's, um, it's another Rider weight deck and it's actually really nice. The cardstock is really pretty and, and the coloring, but they also now have a holographic one, you guys. So this one, I believe, I think this one is like 20 to $25. Um, I will definitely link it in the description box because it is still available. It's called the AE Weight Holographic Tarot. And it comes in this beautiful gray box, little tuck box, right? Um, with the beautiful fool on the front. You can already see that holographic sheen. This is a really nice deck, but I do have some things about it that I don't really care for. So first off, you get a title card, or actually you get two title cards, some random little title cards. Um, you do get a guidebook. So the Magic Seer does do little guidebooks with their decks. So if you're new to the tarot, it has beautiful full color um, information about each card. So they are, they are actually pretty nice guidebooks. You're not going to get those like flimsy white ones. Um, the cards are standard tarot size. So as you can see, it's much larger, <laughs> much larger than the little one that I was just showing you guys to see that. So I could appreciate this. I like this better. Um, card stock. It is kind of thick. Okay. It's, it is a handful. It is kind of thick. Um, and it's kind of like, I wouldn't say super hard to shuffle, but it will show bends. Okay, that's the thickness of it. So it is a thick cardstock where it will morph and it will warp and you will see it, unfortunately. Um, so that is kind of a setback with that. The backs though are really beautiful. You have this little flower and um, really simple and really pretty. So much better than like the, pla <laughs> than the plaid. <laughs> um, and the cardstock like the, the, the feel of it is a matte, this is kind of like a matte satin finish. 
it's very like smooth. So I do really like this. Um, the holograph on these though is not as strong as the holograph in like the other ones because these are more gloss, right? So the gloss really does show the holograph a lot better. Um, these, because they are more of a matte satin finish, um, I think that that's why the, the, the holograph is not very strong. You could see it, you know, there, like you could really see it if you, it catches the light just right, but it's not as boom. <laughs> like it's not like a bam, like that's a holographic deck. <laughs> so that's the only thing that I wish they would have gone a little bit above and beyond for. Um, but it is still really pretty. Like I do actually really, really, really like this. Um, so beautiful Rider weight imagery. The coloring is a little bit more toned down than like the vibrant yellows in this one. So it is a little bit more turn, toned down and the font is tight. So you're not getting Pamela's calligraphy on the cards. Um, but as you can see, like the blues are more of a grayer tone. Like they're very toned down in this deck. They're not in your face. Um, so it's kind of more of like a muted holographic tarot deck. I don't know. <laughs> it's just not that. It's not as like in your face. Um, but very, very much a beautiful deck. So, um, yeah, so there's that one. Let me get these out of the way. And lastly, the Reflective Tarot. So, <laughs> this is actually a new release. Um, I think this came out maybe two months ago, early summer, late spring. Um, the Reflective Tarot featuring the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot. This is by US Games. Um, I had pre-ordered this deck like months and months in advance because I was purchasing something else. I saw it. I was like, ooh, that's going to be really pretty. And I pre-ordered it, forgot about it. And then when it arrived, I was literally disappointed. You could probably guess why just by looking at it. <laughs> it's a small deck, you guys. Like, what is it with these mini decks? I mean, I don't mind, but I do mind, right? Um, it comes in a cute little box that lifts up like this. Super cute. But it's freaking tiny. It has the little white booklet. Um, just in case you wanted to know. And I, li I do like the box, though, because it does have the moon, so it's really, really pretty. It does have, like, a shimmer to it, too. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> you have these tiny little cards. Like, these are so small. And not only that, they have a border around them, so they're even smaller. <sighs> so they just pretty much, it is like the, um, the Radiant, yeah, the Radiant Rider Weight, only... It's a Radiant Rider weight, but holograph. And just like the one I just showed you guys, how it's like very minimal, the cardstock on this also is like a matte satin. Um, the card backs on this one, I think these are like kind of similar to the pocket sized Radiant Rider weight. I'm not sure though. I have the deck. I just don't want to pull it out right now. Um, they're okay. They're they're not the, the most pretty. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of the backs. Um, but they're too small. So I was very disappointed because I was expecting to pull out a deck that was going to be, you know, standard size. And then when I saw how tiny they are, I was like, this is not, this is not it. Um, if I'm working with a holographic deck, I want to show it off. Like that's the whole point, right? I want to see the rainbows. I want to, I want it to be a showstopper when I'm doing a reading, and this is just not a showstopper. It's so tiny. So I was very, very disappointed in that. Um, <laughs> it's just not. Mm -mm. And the shimmer in this one, like the holograph is very weak in my opinion. Um, I was even trying to just like trying to figure out, is it just on the border or was it on the image too? And I guess it is on the image as well, but it's so faint. So I'm just like, this is not, 
<laughs> this was a letdown. So US games usually like they put out some pretty nice decks. They're pretty decent. But this one I was not very, I wasn't very excited for. I feel like they kind of failed on this one. <laughs> Maybe they will do another one and actually do a larger size with a more stronger holograph. But this is just not, this is just not, no. I would rather just use my cheapy $7 cards. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, you guys, those are my holographic decks. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite, which one would I pick? I would probably pick the Magic Seer one because of the size. This is the only one that is the um, standard size of a, of a tarot deck. The other ones are all small. So because I'm picky about the size of the cards, um, I would probably just go with the holographic tarot, the, the Magic Seer version. Um, but I do think the best holograph out of all of them was the orange box, the eBay purchase, the random, the random eBay purchase. Um, without a doubt, this one has the strongest holograph. So it is what it is, you guys. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys what I had, um, show you guys my little collection, and just kind of be able to put a video up because I haven't done a video tarot related in a while. And so my tarot followers, I'm sure you guys will appreciate this. Um, and let me know, do you guys have any holographic tarot decks? Rider weight holographic tarot decks that I did not mention. If you do, let me know. I would love to uh, see what else is out there. But until then, you guys, I will see you in my next video very, very soon, hopefully. <laughs> Bye, guys.